Vishnupadaya Vishnupristaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta
ce devotee Arjun says Arjun said go oh, take my chariot here and then he follows he was a horse he does so many sadness so he didn't say
when Dro- Panda was along with Draupadi went for exile. Prior to that, their plane died. At that time, according to Dai's rule, when the king is defeated by himself, he has no power to make another gift. But at last, Jibhishthu Maharaj keeps Draupadi as a beast, as a pet. And what happened? At that time, Draupadi was in impure state. According to the tradition, at that time, they will not come anywhere else, only being inside room, will not touch anything, will not hurt anyone. At that time, Draupadi snatched by Dushasan by order to Duryodhan. He tried to protect her silence. Because it is mentioned in scripture, Mani Dakinam Opamano Mithu Tulla. Who is honorable person, if you insult them, his life is their death. And especially, the finance is our finance, is our ornament of ladies. So, Jopani does not like to come. Give to his impure state, even she not going to pay her obedience to Mother Gandhari Devi. Jopani is known so many ways. Jopani is not going to ask me, even I got to pronounce to Mother Gandhari Devi. But they are demons, they are not disability. Some of them, they drag her in the assembly. She looked towards Kitama Bhishma, Guruzuna Charja, Dhritarashtra and her husband. Arjuna and him became very angry. But Dhritarashtra Maharaj makes them cool. What happened? When he at last, almost he is going to lose his kindness, what did he do? He Govinda Raka Sarana Akta Ujiva Nahari. Oh Govinda, now my life is dangerous. Please tell me. Immediately, what happened? Hari Khejeto Hara Dushasan Hari Varaya Sam. Dushasan, his 10,000 infant power he has in his arm. He became tired, that's the end of government. So Krishna is serving Arjun as a charioteer. And he left Draupadi in form of government. There is no end of government. After they were exiled. Once Durvasariji came to Duryodhan's royal palace, he then feed him very nicely, and then he told us any benediction. Then he told, O oh, Riji, if you are happy with me, I am very sorry. My cousin brother is here in exile. I want that you will go and bless them. But one condition will go in the afternoon time, late afternoon. Okay. When Jirvasa went there along with the 60,000 disciples, what happened? He came to Yudhisthira Maharaj, Yudhisthira, today I, want your, I am your guest, he has to serve my disciples, along with me and my disciples. Jesus said, no problem, please go and take part. In the meantime, we will prepare all good stuff, don't worry. Then he called his brother, then there is a Draupadi. Draupadi said, I am sorry, I could not do. Draupadi had one pot, donated by some god. Unless until Draupadi is not eaten, not eat yet, he can feed the whole universe. When he ate, after eating, she will clean the pot and keep upside down. Then after the next day, Next day he can feed again when sunrise, not before that. Then Jesus and Arjuna all told all Draupadi, if you call Krishna, then Krishna will come. If he call, then he will not, he will not come. Means Draupadi controls Krishna more than other Pandavas. As soon as Draupadi called, Krishna appeared there and told also he, I am very hungry, please feed me something. So the Prabhu, oh, we are in danger. He said, I don't want to listen to anything. Please feed me first I listen. Draupadi told, I clean my pot, today not possible, clean your pot. Then Krishna found one piece of spinach. He took and put in his mouth and drink water. And so tiptoes me, tiptoes me. I am satisfied, I am satisfied. If Krishna is satisfied, what will he do? Sustain to stay, jagat to stum, trinite, tiltam, jagat. If Krishna is satisfied, whole world will be satisfied. If Krishna is happy, whole world will be happy. Tell all, what is your problem? Then Draupadi told the whole story. 
you don't know everything, knowing me something again, then okay, send him to call the city and his disciples. He took class on a shoulder and moved doing and going like, like a military person going on. And the Lord Guru Basariji, Lord Guru Basariji, why are you late? As before, Bhagavad Gita was moved up like ten times. <laughs> oh, Prabhu, why are you late? All that, all that we are waiting for you. When Krishna called Sittosmi, Sittosmi, all of this sudden, Guru Basariji and his disciples, his stomach became completely full. Just they had yet something just now, completely full stomach. Guru Basariji, if you will not go, Jesus' class will crack our head. <laughs> so by the mystic power, they fly away from there to air, to water, they run away from there. So, now question may arise in our mind. Durvasarji does not know that Durjodhana has some motivated by other desires and want to finish Pandava. Yes, Durvasarji knows this. Because Durjodhana knows that if nobody could not feed by cast of Durvasar, they all be funny. Then they will not come anymore to ask the kingdom. And Durvasar is not a simple person, not an ordinary muni. In incarnation of Lord Shiva, and Lord Shiva always glorifies Sri Krishna and his devotees. By this way, Durvasar is glorified Pandavas from near and dear kin and kin to Krishna. There are so many instances. Hiruma or battle. When in the end of battle, Duryodhana went to in a pond, and the demigods of that pond told Duryodhana, you have to be here today, then I can make your body completely hunter gold, lamb can kill you. Then he met other they that you so many away, so you were covered, he sent that, and he came out. So he said, I told, okay, you can choose any one of us, and if you defeat us, then I will take defeat. He said, oh my elder brother, what is all? If Dujan fighting you by club, are you able to face with him? Or Dujan or Arjun Nakul Sade by club? Now we are going to win and you want to lose now. So he said, I have told, I have told. What to do now? So Dujan is very clever, he told me, yes, always we defeat king against king. So we have to defeat, we have to fight with king and king, king versus king. Now, this is not now, we are going to lose now, getting lost. And this is not all, this is why I told that Gima is our king. And this is why I told him is our king. Okay, if king, then you all of you to pronoun to him. And this is why the one power, if he pronoun to his junior, the head will be cut off, cut out and finish immediately. So you have not this king. Then he told, okay, then you have to pronoun to your king. Because you are his subject, he has respect to your king. Another danger. And this is what you can here. I will be behind him and he will do your pranam to me, not to him. I will take a pranam. And if so, by this Krishna rescue the whole Pandava. And then the battle starts and he finishes your yodhan. And when this battle is going on, one of the Prabhu went for pilgrimage. He came there, Narada Ji told to him, now last battle is going on. According to club fighting rule, he could not fight, hit anyone, your opponent, zero towers. And what he did? He hit here on the thigh, and Sujana could not fight anymore. Then, Narada Ji became very furious and told, I will kill you just now. None can save you from this both sides of warrior. None can check you. I will finish just now. He said, Oh my elder brother, why you are so angry? He said, Krishna, don't come in between him and me. You could not protect today. He said, Oh my elder brother, if I could not do what I can, I can do so I can in between you. He told his injustice. When they give poison to feed, when they try, is there justice? When they play dice, is there, is that was justice? Definitely. 
Foi a terceira que eu vou escola. Foi a terceira que eu vou Isso já estou a fazer isso. Na qual eu vou fazer um país na outra parte. Não todos os outros que eu vou fazer. Foi a terceira que eu vou fazer. Isso é a terceira que eu vou fazer. Foi a terceira que eu vou fazer. Isso é a terceira que eu vou fazer. If you think that only this is injustice, this is just only your disciples, and all this is not injustice. Okay, I am going away. Go and kill the dream, I have no problem. Then, for those who understood that by the wish of the lady, all everything happened. If you want to take the pardon away from this heart, so it happened going on. So, for those who will have silent, go and die from there. By this, even Krishna said Pandavas. But he said, he said Pandavas so many ways. So many incidents, so many pastimes of Krishna, how they Pandavas, who they were like to challenge me. If anything good is great, you will go to Guru Jai. If anything hard, they can give me. Pandha, Kambhata, 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 that Pandavas are more superior. But when <coughs> Arjuna saw this sorrow, and both army there <coughs> under the feet of Krishna, they were all died. And Krishna told Arjuna, be nimit samatra bhava shakti And killed all. Then Arjuna saw this Swarup and he became very and fearful and he began to pray him, oh, please take out this universe of I am very much feared. I have told you Sakha, oh, this is your real support. You are Supreme Lord of Holy. And then Krishna kindly took off his Jishwaru form. So sometimes Arjun had as such a mood and he forgets that he is his charioter and he is his friend. So Uthav, you know, more superior, more superior. Krishna only <laughs> sent Uddha to Gopi, to Braja, not to any other one. So, Uddha is his Prime Minister, he is his advisor, he is his Senapati, Commander in Chief, he is ever Krishna Heart. So he most of the But when he went and Krishna sent him to Braja, eh? why he sent? Putha knows that I am best servant of Krishna. But I am now feeling so much pain like her for gopis and my father, mother, all Prajivasi. So, gopis in my separation, they tell each other their pain in heart for Krishna. But here, what I am feeling for gopis and from my father, mother and all Prajmasi Shaka, I cannot talk anyone in Madhura. So Uddha should be sent in the school of gopis where I have learned our love and affection. So he must be sent and he should go and be sometimes there and he should learn and then he will return, then I can talk together. Uddha went and saw oh, Krishna is fully there 
ఆంటీని క్లాన్ సీస యాజ్ ఇ క్రిస్ వాజ్ ఇన్ ప్రెజర్ ది బుక్స్ వర్ క్వైటింగ్ అండ్ దెన్ కౌస్ ఆఫ్ హనింగ్ క్రాస్ దేర్ చిల్డ్రన్ కాఫ్ యాజ్ ఇ క్రిస్ వాజ్ దేర్ ఆల్ దేర్ హ్యాపీ అండ్ గోపీ దేర్ సింగింగ్ ది సాంగ్ gopindadamo darla deti gopindadamo darma deti gopindadamo darma deti gopindadamo darma deti utho ben ke and at the time of admission Gopi asked some questions and if you had answered that question then you would have been admitted but Uddhav cannot answer that. They asked Krishna, we loved Krishna without any worldly or anything they or Love to Krishna was for Khalil, selfless. And also we know that Krishna was also pure, his love and affection was pure. You should see that what is selfish friend. A disciple, a chastu can go to his teacher. and his friend and after that he when he, he comes to house he has no connection with guru oh you see so many birds in forest when we eat like people or us then i and others then so many birds are there checking sir checking fruits and in say say But when forest is burnt, they fly away to other people. They say that, Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. And when he is given donation something, he will not a moment he is still there. And one goes away. Prostitutes. When money is with you and living, very good. You are honored. Otherwise, she will kick you. So in this way, this is selfishness. Selfishness. But Krishna knows so. Then how our love and affection was broken? Who thought we came to do like this and could not answer? She saw the university, Prem University of Gopi. but he was not as great in this whole <laughs> then Uddho prayed there Asha Maho Charanare Jusha Maham Shyam Vrinda Vane Kuma Kulma Kau Shatina Jal Pujal Swat Jal Pajal Pajal Aadha Patan Chaitva Vrede Mokunta Padame Suti Pujal Vrinda I want to be a gust of Gopi lotus tree. Then I will be what? So much fortunate because I know that even Suti Veda Upanishad Mantra they want they do, they do so much fortunate but they cannot have like this. So I want to be if any cross, blade of cross or anything that Gopi is going to Krishna in Abhishan that so this will be there on my head. So we see that Gopi is how glorious. Now I am going to discuss How Krishna took birth 
in matcha and in cook four times as a place perhaps bhai ji book of sami ji you know krishna took part in mathura and then he went to gokul and nand baba ji soda mai de
And then Srimad Bhagavatam begins to describe how uh, Vasudev, uh, who was uh, in the royal uh, dynasty, he was one day driving, the, he was one day riding on the chariot uh, along with his newly married wife, Devaki. And her brother was named Kamsa. Kamsa was the very, very demoniac, powerful, and evil king uh, who was ruling at that time. So Kamsa, he heard at that time as he was driving the chariots forward, there was a voice that came from the sky and it described a kind of like an aerial voice. Everyone heard this voice. Oh Kamsa, you are such a fool. You are driving the chariot of your sister, uh, but you do not know that the eighth child of your sister, he will kill you. And at that moment, because he was so demoniac, Kamsa immediately grabbed the, uh, uh, the hair of his sister and he pulled out his sword and he was just about to kill her. At that time, uh, Vasudev, who was very great and powerful devotee of Krishna, uh, he immediately began to appeal to Kamsa and in so many ways he just tried to discuss with him, to reason with him. He described knowledge about the soul and about the inevitability that all of us will pass from this body into another body. This is inevitable. But Kamsa was not listening. So finally, Vasudev told him, I will deliver my uh, child as children as they are born. I will deliver them to you. Because he was thinking that at least temporarily I should stop, that he will, uh, that he will kill Devaki at this present moment. So then, Kamsa agreed to this, and then uh, the narration of this history, Sri Shukadeva Goswami begins to describe gradually how Kamsa imprisoned Vasudeva and Devaki into the prison house, and he kept them there. And gradually, as all the children were born, one by one, uh, Vasudev kept his promise and delivered them to Kamsa, and mercilessly, Kamsa killed these children. So finally, when the seventh child was in the womb of Devaki, uh, then that child actually was an expansion of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Ananta Shesh. Because whenever the appearance of the Supreme Lord happens within this world, His expansion, Ananta, He prepares the whole background. So Ananta Shesh came into the womb of Devaki, but uh, prior to His birth, there appeared to be a miscarriage. Uh, but actually, that child was transferred to the womb of Rohini. And Rohini Devi uh, was one of the other wives of Vasudev also. He was a Kshatriya and he had more than one wife. So Rohini at that time was staying in Gokul and he was staying there with Nanda Maharaj who was the king of all the cowherd people uh, and all the bridge bodies. And there she, he was, she was being protected. So in her womb came this expansion of actually Baladev, Balaram who is also known as Sankarshan because he was attracted to the womb of Rohini Devi. So now, uh, as Devaki became pregnant with the eighth child, now King Kansa was very anxious. And at this time, uh, because Devaki was pregnant actually with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna Himself, in her womb, she began to look very effulgent very, very beautiful and very attractive. Uh, everyone could see that there was some kind of special uh, aura and emotion around her. And as the time was nearing for her to give birth, all auspicious omens appeared all throughout the universe. And all, in all directions, there was a general feeling of great happiness. And at that time also, the demigods, from the upper planetary systems came and they offered so many prayers to uh, the child within the womb of Devaki. And in this way, now, the birth of the Supreme Lord within this world was about to take place. So at the time when the, when the uh, midnight hour came on this final evening, 
that at that time, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, appeared, uh, took his birth from the womb of Devaki. But he did not appear as a little child. He immediately appeared in his transcendental youthful forearms form of Vishnu, holding the auspicious symbols of Vishnu, and with a very beautiful, decorated with a golden crown, with very beautiful flower garlands, looking like a fresh 16-year-old youth. And at that time, uh, his mother, Devaki, his father, Vasudev, they both began to offer prayers to him and recognizing that he is actually the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So their praying for Krishna was filled with Aishwarya also. It was mixed with Aishwarya meaning that they had so much uh, knowledge and attraction to the opulence of the Supreme Lord. And therefore, they addressed him in a prayerful manner. Uh, then, at that time, uh, Devaki began to feel some fear because of her motherly mood and Vatsalya mood. She began to feel some fear and she requested that he should take the, the form of a little child. And then at that time, Krishna instructed Vasudev that I will take this form of a little child and now you should immediately take me and carry me out of this prison. By my potency, it will be possible. Uh, and you will be able to go to the cowherd village of Gokul. And there, there is another child taking birth there at the same time. And you should secretly go there and you should place me there and take the other child here. So then at that time, he took the form of a very beautiful little baby. And Vasudev carried this child immediately as soon as he took the child in his arms. All the chains that were binding him in the prison fell off of his feet. And the doors of the prison, the big huge iron doors of the prison opened wide. All the guards who were guarding outside were fast asleep. And in this way, in the middle of the night, Vasudev was able to secretly take this child and, and carrying him in his arms, go all the way to the river Jamuna. When he came to the river Jamuna and he had to cross beyond this river Jamuna, then he began, there was a slight uh, storm was happening, rain was coming, and the river Jamuna was quite rough. But at that time, as he approached the river Jamuna, now it became calm and he was able to go uh, across the river. But as he was in the middle of the river Jamuna, then the waves of the Jamuna River, they rose up. Why? Because Jamuna Devi is an eternal Sati, a, an eternal Gopi of Krishna. And she wanted to touch the lotus feet of Krishna. So at that time, her waves came up and Krishna suddenly slipped from Vasudev's hand into the water. And immediately Vasudev again picked him up and brought him uh, onto his head and carried him across the river Jamuna. As he came to the other side, now Vasudev approached the village of Gokul. In the night time, uh, that evening, there was the birth of Madhigashoda's child. And the Vrijabhasis were also there. They were witnessing this event as this child came from the womb of Mother Yashoda. Uh, but by Yoga Maya potency, by the transcendental spiritual potency of the Supreme Lord, Mother Yashoda, due to the labor of childbirth, she had fallen asleep, and the other Vrijabhasis also. And it was not known whether or not this child was male or was female child. So when Vasudev came there, he saw next, lying next to Mother Yashoda, uh, 